Hi, this is William Mook. Um, I wanted to uh, give a little example of uh, the sort of stuff that we're working on here. And it's based on Bill Still's uh, description of the um, tally stick. The tally stick, you might remember, involves taking a hickory branch, squaring it, and then dividing it in two to create a unique uh, signature that is, can then be recombined. And we want to do that in the modern age using uh, cryptography and what's known as physical one-way functions, which I think I sent a paper to you on. So basically what you do is you start out with an agreement to loan and, uh, and redeem bitcoins or dollars or anything of value, gold coins or whatever. So you have a piece of paper. This is just an example. And then what you do is you take that paper and you score it and you uh, split it along the middle. And what happens, and I'm not doing this right, I guess, but I'll do it better. I'll practice a little bit. But basically, uh, you split it, and there's a unique edge that if you put it on a scanner uh, with a dark paper in the background, this edge can be uh, turned into a number, unique number that is then hashed, and it's, and it's associated with each of these pieces of paper. Those, those hash codes can then be run through the printer again, and and put in the form of a QR code. Actually, this is the way they should be. So we have these QR codes. And um, now uh, we have something. We have a foil and a uh, stock. And the, <clears throat> just for purposes here, we put the, you put the stock on blue paper and you put the foil on green paper. And these are future demands for bitcoins. So these are equivalent to fractional reserve bank loans, but they're totally distributed. They don't require anything. And you can then trade this, this promise of a Bitcoin from the uh, Bitcoin holder, and the Bitcoin holder can trade the promise of payment <laughs> uh, in the stock market. So there's a foil market and a stock market. Foil market is what we consider of uh, as cash today, and the stock market, of course, we consider as, as stocks and bonds and things like that. So all those things can have their digital equivalents in a distributed system that, that doesn't require central record keeping, because basically what happens is when a payment is made on the agreement, there's a separate legal agreement, of course, that backs this up, but, but it's bound physically to this piece of paper and then it's taped there so it does so it's pretty stable and then you can just scan it open it up and scan it and confirm that this number is associated with this piece of paper here and uh, since it's entered into the Bitcoin uh, database um, it can be traded electronically so and and then of course you got to show up with this otherwise you're guilty of fraud somehow uh, but we're trying to we're trying to avoid the use of any central record keeping or any central uh, appeal to power just in the nature of the things themselves. So this is the sort of thing that Bitcoin will build upon will build upon Bitcoin in the future. So anyway, if you want to talk about this, we can. I I, I guess I got to figure out how to edit it so that it's concise. But anyway, if you like things, this is the sort of thing that that we're working on in addition to mining bitcoins and uh, trading them. So thanks for your time. Look forward to uh, next Wednesday midnight. I'll, I'll have my pot of coffee ready. Thank you. Bye.